Okay, so a lot has changed since the previous update. Adding a new enemy type was a bad idea. They don't like each other. Whatever I do, they just won't stop punching each other. Maybe I can... Oh, no! Don't do... That. Leave the goose alone! How the f*** did we get here? Let me tell you. It's been one year since I started this journey on creating a voxel game, and I never thought it would get this far. This all started as a little experiment after learning about sparse voxel arc trees, and I wanted to see if I could write my own ray tracer in Unity. It was a fun little challenge, learning all about syncing data between the CPU and the GPU, learning a node-based data structure, all that good stuff. Like many of my other little projects, I spent about a week on it, I made a video, and I thought that was it. But it wasn't. I kept coming back to the project whenever I wanted to learn something new. It was a nice little sandbox to experiment in. And that is what it was for the longest time. Whenever I wanted to learn something new, I came to this project, uh, implemented here, and it was mostly to learn about other game dev things. And then when I started creating a little character, make a move around, I thought, hey, this could actually be a game. It looks cool. There's nothing to do yet, but there might be one day. And just like that, a year flew by. I'm still working on it every day. It's becoming its own thing. It's having its own identity. And for everyone who's been following along so far, thank you so much. 1000 subscribers and hopefully many more to come. Back to the devlog, I added a ant, a new type of enemy that spawns in the desert. And just like the frogs, whenever they see the player, they will attack on sight. Speaking of, they don't like each other. Whenever the ant and the frog see each other, they will battle it out. They run on the same entity system as the player, so similar movesets, just different AI. And in the non-hostile team, I added a goose. Just like the pigs, they just want to live in peace. They might get curious when they see you, but just be nice to them. They're very lightweight, so when they walk off a cliff, they fall slowly. When you punch them, they fly far. If you played the previous build, then you know that you cannot really dig far below ground. There is an indestructible layer stopping you. Well, not anymore. Now you can dig as far as you want. It's just stone for now. Uh, I might hide some things in there for the player to find. No diamonds. This is not that game. Hey, I'm trying to record a video here! Similar to all the other world modifications, any change you make, any hole you dig, it will stay there the next time you come back. The reason why in the past you couldn't really dig too far below the surface was because it would just take up too much memory, it would take too long for the world to load. So to get around this I made a new on-demand terrain generation system. The game will now generate terrain very tightly around where the player is digging. And behind the scenes it just looks like this, but from the player's perspective it is like they're digging through infinite terrain. I also added Fidelity FX upscaling as a alternative to temporal anti-aliasing. This new optional render mode renders the game at a much lower resolution and then uses some fancy upscaling to resolve it to a nice clean 4K image. Finally, here's a little preview of what I've been working on the last few days. I 
I added a collection of weapons and shields that can be equipped by any character and started working on a combat system. I'll drop this update in a day or two. Join the Discord to get the download link. Thanks for watching!